We're finally here. Elden Menencia, the land of green. The place certainly lives up to its name, doesn't it? Yeah, just feel that breeze. It's like night and day compared to Calaglia and Cislodia. Unsullied, fertile land, as far as the eye can see. That's beautiful. <laughs> what? No, oh, nothing. Just... I was thinking the very same thing. That's the realm capital in the distance. The city of Vicent. A word to the wise before we continue. Elda Menencia has produced more sovereigns over the years than any other. Uh, Xion! Guess we should probably follow after her, shouldn't we? Hey, you all right, Law? Yeah, fine. I was just thinking how Dad would have enjoyed this view. All this green in one place is incredible. Anyway, let's get moving before we start looking tasty to monsters. Is he going to be okay? Eventually. That's a wall he'll have to overcome on his own. What's wrong? Huh? Yes! I hate camping out. Like this should be easy. Together, that wasn't even a problem. Hey, would you look at that? Green as far as the eye can see. I think even the Zoogles look a little fuller than they usually do. They're still Zoogles, just on a fuller stomach. Don't forget, this is enemy territory we're in. See a village over there. The people working in it look Danon. Look at these fields and all this livestock. Am I crazy for thinking these people seem to have it pretty easy? What the hell is going on here?
Look, Renan soldiers. Do the Renans control this city? I've never seen so many of them in one place before. No. Look at the cores on them. These people are all Danans. They're slaves. If they are, they're awfully well dressed. And they're smiling too. Something weird's going on here. Forgive the intrusion, but if I'm not mistaken, you're newcomers to Elda Menencia, yes? Please, you have no reason to be alarmed. My name is Drashen. I work at the Department for Welfare. Department for Welfare? We work to support the day-to-day -day living of all citizens. Welcoming newcomers to the realm is a part of our job, albeit one we rarely have the pleasure to perform. Let me guess. We get a free pair of shackles as a welcome gift. Perish the thought! Your trepidation is perfectly understandable, but I assure you, our way is quite different. <sighs> In the past, this realm was no different from any other, and run by a rather merciless ruler. But all of that changed once His Excellency, Lord Dohalim, assumed power seven years ago. Dohalim? Under him, for the first time in our lives, we Danans were treated with the respect we deserve. Lord Dohalim is adored by Danans throughout the realm, and we serve him with gladness. Am I hearing you right? The Danans here willingly serve a Renan lord? Please, see for yourself. You're free to go anywhere you like. Just ask if you should need anything. What is it? Spit it out. It's just, we came here to free everyone. Uh-huh. But the Danans of this realm are all happy to serve Dohalim. Are there any walls that even need tearing down? Who cares? That just makes our path to Dohalim that much clearer. I guess, but... Still, Drashen said we should check things out for ourselves. Maybe we should look around a bit, see what we learn. Everyone is all smiles. I've never seen a city so lively before. Yes. Hmm... 
Huh? I think someone's calling out for us. They could have something they need from us. I still can't believe I'm seeing Danins and Renans getting along. You never know. It could all be an act on orders from the Renan. To what end? It would be an incredible amount of effort just to fool us. Let's check out more of the city. There's probably places we haven't seen yet. My dad's working in the quarry today. So is mine. I'm gonna help him when I grow up. Looks like Danons are working in the quarry. Let's go check it out. Stay sharp. We're going in. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling well today. Could I please take the day off? Oh. I presume you're Alfin, of Orbis Calaglia? I'm Captain Kisara of the Elder Menencia Guard. Just Kisara? No last name would make you a Danon. So it does. Is that a problem? The Guard. Wait, so you're saying the Lord of Elder Menencia has Danons protecting him? In this country, Danon Guardsmen aren't unusual. Everyone who enlists does so of their own free will. She sounds like she's serious, Alfin. That makes no sense. Don't your people remember seven years ago? Wouldn't you be grateful if you were finally allowed to live as a free person? And for my part, there is no greater honor than being chosen to serve His Excellency, Lord Dohalim. I feel no shame. <laughs> but all of that aside, I came seeking you, Alfin at Lord Dohalim's behest. He wishes an audience with you. W with us? Indeed. He awaits you at Ottolina Palace. That is, if you choose to accept. I am here only as a messenger, not a kidnapper. Your reply? All right. We'll meet your lord. Very well. I shall return and deliver your acceptance. Please don't keep him waiting too long. Before you go, what lies beyond this point? A quarry manned by Dan and laborers. Nothing else? There's a Dan and medical facility for the severely ill at the back. However, for sanitation reasons, it's kept off limits, even to guardsmen. That was odd. Why do you think this Doalim would want to see us? It's probably a trap. Still, they already know we're here. Not like we can start being stealthy now. We might as well listen to what he has to say. Hey, are you sure about going? What if it's a trap? Let's know. No reason to back out now. Boss right. I get your concern, but we should buckle down. I guess that towering structure at the center is the palace. You think it's dangerous to go inside? It's not a question of danger. We're going inside. Hey! Pretty fancy place they got here. There's no way this isn't a trap. Your guests, my lord. Thank you, Kisara. You're the wielder of the Blazing Sword the liberator of Calaglia. 
you do dress humbly for someone of such grandeur. But where are my manners? I am the ruler of Elda Menencia. I'm Lord Dohilim Ilkaris. If you know who we are, then you know how strange it is to invite us into your palace. I thought I'd clear up your misconceptions before things could escalate. What do you say? <sighs> you did come here to defeat me, did you not? Perhaps, and what if we did? Are you planning to fight us here? I don't think that will be necessary. After all, I imagine you've taken in a fair amount of his scent by this point. Have you come across even one slave being abused? Soldiers killing for sport? Suffering of any form? I would hazard that you have not. For I have liberated Menencia from its suffering and brought joy to its people. But if these results are not enough to stay your sword, I commend you for your boldness, but it won't work on me. Still, your would-be assassination cannot go unpunished. Elfin! Fair enough. Allow me to host you for dinner. We shall continue our talk then. Kelzalik? Yes, my lord. Please escort our guests, if you would be so kind. As you wish, sire. That's what you get for being so careless. What I get? What were you thinking, attacking him on your own? What are you upset about? Our whole goal is supposed to be overthrowing the Lords. Remember? He could have been hurt. And it wouldn't have been the first time, either. What's gotten into you? Hey, you do know that Alfin is really just worried about you, right? He's worried? I mean, that's what it looked like to me. Uh, but, um, maybe not. It pains me to see that Renan cuisine isn't to your liking. I asked my chefs to prepare only the finest delicacies available. Two wasted opportunities. Why did you set the Danans here free when you took over? Ah, uh, but you are mistaken. You see, I may rule single-handedly. But on my own, even I cannot change the order of things. But what is within my power is the welfare of the people. The fostering of a mutual respect among the classes. This I can change. Sounds a lot like the Danins are still oppressed, if you ask me. Only in the sense they continue to serve as laborers, yes. However, I assure you they are fairly compensated for their efforts. This harmony we strive for is the current pinnacle of Ren and Danin coexistence. Harmony and coexistence between the Renans and the Danans. What about the crown contest? This doesn't exactly make you a shoe in And yet, the Danans here are even more productive than when they used to face daily lashings. In any case, the crown contest is of little importance to me, and even less to Elda Menencia. You see, I have no interest in becoming sovereign. <laughs>
Please, it's over! Stop! It is not by choice that one assumes the throne of a realm. But Sovereign is a different matter entirely. I have no interest in playing their game. Are you saying you'll withdraw from the contest? I guess if you don't plan to ascend the throne, there's not much reason to harvest energy from Danans, is there? Let the ambitious fight it out amongst themselves. All I care for is maintaining peace throughout my realm. So what? Your personal desires are all that matter to you? Take a look in the mirror. I may not play their games, but you have outright betrayed your own. You've torn down two of my fellow lords. What precisely is your aim? <sighs> Spare me your answer. I care not for your reasons. Suffice it to say, I will not impede you. That said, should you threaten the peace of my realm, I will respond. I suggest you conclude your business and leave Menencia at your earliest convenience. Kelzalik! Our guests depart. Please see to their lodgings for the night. I shall arrange for rooms for you all at a local inn. It is a short ways down the road. You may stay there for the night, after which I suggest you promptly make your departure. Damn, look at how ritzy this place is. How many rooms do you think it's got? Don't... You're being a little too relaxed. They could strike at any moment. If they were go going to attack us, they would have done it already. Really think we should trust accommodations from a Renan Lord? How do we know it's safe? Like we have any other choice. We can't go and set up camp outside of town at this hour. Honestly, I'd still take that over staying here. What if they try to kill us in our sleep? I doubt that's the case. His best chance to kill us would have been back at the palace. His true intentions aside, for now at least we're in his good books. Then we probably shouldn't test his patience. Let's find that in and check in. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Welcome, fair travelers. Lord Dohalim's retainer told us to expect you. It is an honor for you to stay with us. Please, make yourselves comfortable. This is better than I expected. 
Hmm? The room. It's nice. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. It is pretty nice. You okay, La? You're a million miles away. Nah, it's weird. I felt strange ever since we arrived here. Can't seem to shake it. Maybe it's something about this place. And you're just tired. I'm feeling pretty sluggish myself. You too? Seriously, you two? A word to the wise, our work here is far from over. Get yourselves together. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I need to call it a day. Well, let's meet back here tomorrow morning and see where things go from there. Sound good? Sure, but keep an eye out for anything strange, okay? We still don't know how safe this place really is. Are you two feeling any better? Yeah, a good night's sleep seems to have done the trick. I wonder why we felt so out of it. You think it might have been because of all the food we ate? You don't think they slipped something into our food, do you? That must be it. If they were making an attempt on our lives, we'd know it by now. Though, on the other hand, they could be warning us off. Come to think of it, you didn't eat anything at the meal, Rinwell. Aren't you starving? Oh, I made myself something later. You missed out. That was some mighty fancy grub they served yesterday. What? And give the enemy a chance to poison me too? Are you crazy? What's the big deal? Shion ate it too, remember? And we both tried the same stuff. Well, maybe they laced it with poison that's only harmful to Danins, hmm? That's enough, Rinwell. <sighs> Cat? Where'd it come from? There's something on its collar. Hold on a sec. I think it's trying to lead us somewhere. I'm gonna follow it. Hey! Where do you think you're going? <laughs> do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? <sighs> there it is! Stay close. We're gonna lose it. What's gotten into you, Law? This might be the lead we've been waiting for. Seriously? Yeah. Some people train animals to act as messengers. They don't attract attention, see? And you think that someone might be using that cat? To reach out and send us a message or something? I could be wrong. But it's possible. I'm impressed. I would never have thought of that. I should know. We used to use them in Cislodia. <sighs> She's so adorable. You say something? Where do you think it's trying to lead us? Who knows? We should hurry. We don't want to lose it. Whoever came up with this is pretty damn clever. Yeah, it just looks like an ordinary cute cat. We lost sight of the cat. After the chase it's led us on, there's gotta be something up ahead. Let's go farther in. Crossword! This is barely target practice. Then why bother fighting them? Because I certainly won't run away from a battle. My fists are crushing it out there! The reason the trees around here are so big is because of astral energy, right? It's possible. This will be a delicious piece of cake! Yes. 
together. That wasn't even a problem. Hey, what do you say we... Fight that shiny enemy. Sure did. The part where you swung and missed, right? Not that part! Everywhere you look, it's... Hi, Hoodle! Run. Run. Here we got the advantage! Here. Good. First strike. We just have to make sure we keep Spread. it. Don't worry, cause Law's on it. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like these plants before. It's like they're an invasive species. Not that I'm surprised. Calaglia's all dry and Cislodia oh, watch out! Ah, the hell? Is that a Zoogle? That thing is huge! Everyone, be careful! Ah, why can't these dumb plants just keep to themselves? Less whining and more fighting, thanks! Yeah, yeah, I got you! What? The enemy is over there! Here I come! Sweet man! We're cleaning house! Let me take the rest of them! Well, someone's feeling lively! Now for something Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Everyone okay? I'm starting to get that it's a trap feeling again, guys. We'll just pray you're wrong. Hey, there's that cat. Looks like it's not done leading us yet. All aboard the victory train! Overconfidence can bite you in the butt. This had better not all be for nothing. Somehow I doubt it'll be a wasted trip. Re <laughs> you know, for a guard, you're not too good at tailing people. <laughs> not to brag. But this kind of thing is my specialty. So it really is you. When Law told us, I almost didn't believe it. I'm just surprised you could do two things at once, Law. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Ah! <gasps> <gasps> uh! <clears throat> it looks like somebody needs to be put in their place. The one time I wanted to resolve things peacefully. What the hell? I thought you wanted us to leave. You'll never make me talk. Not helpful. In fact, you're pretty damn stubborn, you know that? Do it! Stop! Do. This ends now! Consider yourself finished. <laughs> What's your deal, huh? Did Doalim put you up to this? You send us away and then come to finish us off? I don't buy it. <laughs> I wonder. We came here following a black cat. What reason could you have for tagging along? Certainly not as a spy. You think she might have business with whoever called us out here? And even if she did, I highly doubt she was trying to keep us from harm. 
Am I wrong? Just who was it that led us out here? Answer me. Are you serious? <laughs> Hold your horses. I'm the one who summoned you all here. Well, maybe not all. Nice of you to drop by, Kisara. It's been a while. You two know each other? Hello, brother. So, you're the big heroes who liberated Calaglia and Cislodia, huh? It's an honor to meet you all. We didn't do it all on our own. We had a lot of support from others along the way. <laughs> so, wait, Kisara's your sister? Yep, that she is. The only family I have left. She was the dreamer of the two of us, full of hope for the future of this realm, for both Danans and Renans alike. For siblings, you two don't exactly look like you're on the best of terms. That's because Migal here is a traitor. Isn't that right? <laughs> we were in the Guard together. That is, until he was caught plotting to assassinate His Excellency Lord Dohalim. He took off after that. Is that true? You still believe that's what happened? I don't see why I shouldn't. Even if the truth slapped you in the face, you'd reject it. Same as back then. Heck, even now I'm still working to serve Lord Dohalim. More lies. You haven't changed. Before Lord Dohalim came to power, this country was ruled by an oppressive regime. We lost both of our parents to it. Back in those days, there were countless Danon children who had been orphaned by the Renan's tyranny, just like us. So we formed our own families among ourselves and helped each other out, surviving as best we could. And then Lord Dohalim came along. He abolished the oppression that kept us down, and the Danans were treated like people again. Menencia was reborn under his watch, and orphaned children became a thing of the past. If so, then why did you betray him? I'm not done talking. I'm sure you know the Renans are trying to harvest astral energy from us Danans. Yes, Shion here told me that's how they decide their next sovereign. That's right. There are five types of astral energy. Earth, water, fire, wind, and light. All of them are contained within every living being. And that's the excuse they use to enslave us. You ever wondered what happens to living beings and other matter when they lose all their astral energy? They just die, or so I thought. If only. See for yourselves. What the... is that... is that... metal? Not metal, but to be honest, your guess is as good as mine. I believe it's... nothing. Matter with no physical form, just a reminder of what was once there. They call it the Hollowing. The Hollowing? The process itself is invisible to the naked eye, but it makes the impacted area reflective. Once it consumes my whole body, that's it for me. I'm dead. Wh what? That can't... Miguel. When were you going to... A sinister plot is unfolding as we speak. One Lord Dohalim is likely none the wiser to. It was blind luck I even found out about it. I tried to warn the man for all the good it did. Take a look at this. It's called the Fruit of Helgen. When a Danon eats this fruit, 
their body enters a heightened state, one that causes them to emit more astral energy than usual. Hold on. Could this be the reason Alfin and Law were feeling out of sorts last night after we ate with Dohalim? Sounds like you've been introduced to these things before. None too surprising, either. Most of the realm's food supply contains traces of the fruit. If that's what we ate, does that mean we'll become hollowed like your hand? You don't need to worry. You'd have to consume a large amount of the fruit regularly to exhibit any symptoms. But if that's the case, then why aren't I showing any symptoms? Why would you be inflicted and not me? If I had to guess, because the guards' meals are free of it. Otherwise, they'd risk Lord Dohalim noticing. I tried to warn him, but all it got me was locked up. They force-fed me the fruit the entire time I was in chains. It's a miracle I made it out. They eventually left me for dead, thinking I would succumb to my condition. But I survived and managed to escape. So the assassination plot. Just a cover-up? What? Eventually, I found others like me. And together, we founded the Gold Dust Cats. Our mission is to uncover the truth and warn Lord Dohalim. As you can see, though, we haven't gotten very far in that regard. But I'm hoping that's about to change, now you're here. Which is all thanks to your faithful feline servant. It was a shot in the dark, but fortunately you recognized her for what she was, and Zare accomplished her mission with flying colors. So what's our plan of attack, boss? One of the Lord's routine inspections of the city. It's the only time commoners can talk to him face to face. That's the idea, anyway. His security is bound to be on high alert, but with you lot along, it's the best chance we're going to get to approach him. All right, we're in. But I have to know, how do you keep going with all you've been through? How have you not given up hope? Hey, someone has to fight for the future of the Danans here. The future? Lord Dohali may be a wonderful person, but in the end, he's still a lord like any other. And lords can be replaced. Once the current contest is over, the next lord of Elba Menencia will take over. Then it'll be back to square one for all of us. That's why it's imperative Lord Dohalim sees the light. You really believe Dohalim is going to stick his neck out for a Danon like you? Is it so impossible to imagine? Everything begins with a simple leap of faith.
Huh? Uh-huh. Can't sleep? And you? I woke up randomly and couldn't fall back asleep. I'll go back to bed once I get tired again. How's your shoulder? Huh? My shoulder? Oh, you mean where Dohalim smacked me? It feels a little off, but... Ah, it's fine. I'll manage. Doesn't look like it's gotten much better. I'll give you some more healing. That should do the trick. Hey, yeah, you're right. That feels much better. Thanks, Xion. I've been thinking about what happened, and I was out of line. I know it takes more than a couple of bullets to bring down a lord. Forget about it. It's fine now. We all got out of there safe, and now you've healed me up too. We're going to take down all the lords. That was the promise we made, right? Yeah, I guess. But there was one other thing I wanted to ask you. Back at the palace, Law said you took that hit because you were worried about me. What was it you were worried about? That's... kinda hard to explain. Just tell me. Well, for one, if we lost you, I wouldn't be able to use the Blazing Sword anymore. Obviously. <laughs> but more important than that, I guess... I just couldn't let you die. Honestly, I think that's all there is to it. There you go saying stuff like that again. You never learn, do you? But... Anyway, it's necessary so we can fulfill our promise, right? R right Glad you remember that much. You okay? <sighs> anyway, I think I'm gonna go to bed. Sleep well. What am I doing? I sent Kisara back to town under the cover of night. You do realize that she was searching for you all this time, right? I wonder why. She never could let things go, ever since we were kids. Maybe she was keeping an eye on you all because she thought you might cause trouble. I wouldn't be surprised. Do we need to be worried about her? She could easily report us. Even if we could have kept her here, it would have just raised more suspicion. Besides, I want to believe in her. More leaps of faith, huh? <laughs> Once we make our move, I'll send Zare to come fetch you again. Until then, stay close and try not to wander off too far. Guess we're waiting on word from Magal for the time being. Let's go out somewhere then. Twiddle. 
Oh, good. There you are. You people again. You shouldn't be loitering around here. Don't force me to arrest you. Think we've established you couldn't even if you wanted to. What? Law, quit it. We're not here to argue with you, Captain. We've got something to deliver to you. Here. Uh, that's... That bracelet. Is that my brother's? Why are you giving this to me? I can't help but wonder what my brother is planning with all this. I'm not sure. That said, I think he was being sincere about everything he told us back there. I've met a lot of good people fighting to liberate Dana. And I got the same feeling from Igal that I did from all of them. I think we can trust him. I think you're a good person too. Otherwise, you would report on us and the Gold Dust Cats, right? What makes you think I won't? Because Migal trusts you. And that's enough for me to trust you, too. You're a pretty unusual guy, Alfin. Do you go around acting like that everywhere you liberate people? What do you mean? Sorry, forget it. It's nothing. Okay. Anyway, I think we'll find out more about what Migal's planning soon enough. All we can do now is wait and see what happens. I guess so. Hmm. I guess we just wait for things to kick off. Got something tied to her collar. Oh, she left. It happens tomorrow. They want us to meet in that underground quarry. Then we should prepare while we still can. We'll spend the night here at the inn again. Well, this is it. Yeah. Next petition! Step forward! My lord, please hear my humble request. Who goes there? Halt! Is that Magal? The traitor? Guards! Don't let them get any closer! His Excellency's life is in grave danger! Kill them all at once! Wait! Stay back, Your Excellency! It's too dangerous! Enough. He cannot harm me. Nor, I think, does he intend to do so. Isn't that right, Migal? Indeed it is, Lord Dohalim. I have heard many a rumor about you, but I suppose we'll have more time for those later. You have made some rather interesting friends. He has something he wishes to show you, and we are here to make sure he does. And what could that be? Please, my lord, you needn't give these miscreants the time of day. I shall personally... Silence, Kelzalik. 
I wish to speak with them. Please, you were saying. It's what's in there, my lord. Have you ever walked all the way through the quarry, my liege, right to the other side? Now that you mention it, I don't believe I have. It's a Danon medical facility of some kind, is it not? I think you need to see for yourself, my lord. All I ask is that you witness this before you pass judgment upon me. Then witness it I shall, Kisara. This man is your brother, correct? I would like to ask that you personally escort me while in there. I should warn you, what lies ahead is fraught with danger. You should all take care and stay on your guard as we proceed. Danger? What could be so dangerous about it? It's a regular workplace, isn't it? You'll see. Please, I ask only that you trust me. Sounds like you all need to rethink your medical facilities around here. Hospitals are supposed to be safe. Quite. Kisara. Let's see what they have to show us, shall we? As you wish, my lord. Your strength is appreciated. With you, we can all breathe a little easier. 